What's up party people, Android Stud here and I have the Pocophone F1 and I am running MIUI 10 beta on here. And the way you install this on your Pocophone is you have to unlock the bootloader and there's a link down in the description if you wanna do that. Now, unlocking the bootloader wipes all your data. So be prepared to back up all your pictures, all your phone numbers, all that good stuff where you need to back it up. Now, it also, you have to install the MIUI beta you have to install twerp recovery so that you can flash and install the zip file that contains the latest i'm running the global version of the me ui 10 as you can see here we'll go into settings and i'm running the latest one and this is based on android oreo so um, ho hopefully they will be able to upgrade this to android pi when the official me ui comes out later on this year or early next year now i'll leave a link on how to install it and all that good stuff down in the description now so one of the things that improves on here is the notification shade and also the quick settings as you see here it's real laid out real nice real bright you can see all your stuff like your data your flashlight your mute button airplane mode gps bluetooth wi-fi all that good stuff and then your notification panels here are real nice because they're really laid out real nice they're in groups so that's a nice looking look for now the gestures on here as you swipe up you get your gestures here are laid out here vertically so it's real nice you get to see a lot with that full screen you get to see a lot of your stuff and then you could also do split screen on here so if you hit split screen you're gonna wanna drag, not all apps work in split screen, but I know that Twitter does, so you drag that up there. And then you wanna bring another one in here, like TubeBuddy. There you go, so you have two apps going at the same time, which is kinda cool. You can go through your Twitter, check out your, you know, your subscriber count or whatever. I just busted past 4,000. I wanna thank everybody for that. So you have those things going on. Now if you just wanna get out of that, you kinda just, swipe up you can put another app in there or you can exit out of there like that now if you want to um you hold down an app you get some options there where you'll be able to lock the device hit split screen and also go into the settings of a certain app so that's kind of cool um features that you get there you can clear all your apps you can clear one out by going like that so it's a pretty cool the gestures are really really neat uh, I think if I go into the Twitter right here, let me let's go into the Twitter world. Let's see where the Twitter is. Uh, Twitter here, and let's you, you're going into your apps here. You know, you're checking out some some tweets from your people here. Let's check out Sean Be Nice. You know, you want to read his tweet, and then you want to go back out. You swipe to the right, swipe to the right again. You're out of the app. Now, if you if you go in here and check out uh, a tweet by somebody, you know, and you want to come straight out of the app, you swipe up and you're out. So the gestures are kind of cool. The other thing is the violin slider on here on the side. You can go up and down with it with the with the key, or you could do it with your finger. You can swipe them down. It's got a nice color too. And also you can you can silence it or put it back to normal here with that one button, or you can open up another menu and go into your different kind of uh, volume settings there so it's a really cool thing it's got some e um, AI features here too as far as apps are concerned it kind of knows your 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 system and knows your habits when you're going into an app so it's kind of cool really kind of nifty uh, the AI features on here uh, one of the th cool things that I noticed on the clock if you go into clock here this has got some cool features too like in the clock app if you're looking you know, uh, if you go in here to, uh, you're an alarm basically, you swipe the clock, stop, then timers. Here on the bottom, you see how you have default and then forest, summer, night, beach. So if you hit these things like drizzle, isn't that pretty cool? Or stove fire, you know, you hear the stove, you can hear the beach. That's pretty cool. So there's just different little features there on the, on the clock and stuff. So um, overall, it's been running really good on my Pocophone. 
I've had a lot of great um, performance on here. So battery life is pretty good. Um, call quality is good. It's been running pretty stable for beta. So I would say I would recommend it as a daily, no doubt about it. Um, but like I said, man, if you guys want to um, install this, take, out, take a look at that description down below. You got to unlock your bootloader and you also have to install it via twerp. So the instruction will be down there. If you have any issues, just let me know and I will definitely try to help you out. Uh, this is the MIUI 10 beta on the Poco phone. If I missed any features on here, just leave a comment down below and I will try to make sure that I comment or thank you for me missing anything. But it's this Poco phone runs really fast, really fluid. I'm running theme, um, a theme from the theme store here in the Poco phone called uh, uh, Pixel. So it's a Pixel full white and that's what I'm running now. So that's why it looks so glorious. But man, the wallpapers on this phone are excellent. They got all kinds of cool stuff uh, that you can install as far as, uh, you know, wallpapers and themes. So I would give the Poco phone a chance, man. It's a hot looking device. Real nice, but that's the MUI, MIUI 10 beta on the Poco phone from Xiaomi. That'll do it. I'm Android Stud. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so. You could also follow me on Twitter or Instagram for the latest and greatest when it comes to Android or tech happening around. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.